If you are an Apple user and you have not yet established a legacy contact, then this is going to be one of the most important tutorials that you ever watch. If you've never heard the term, a legacy contact is the person or persons you designate to inherit your iCloud data after your death. Most importantly, this is all about your photos. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire setup process, and I'm also going to answer the top five questions that people tend to have about this subject. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. The information in this video is so important that I really don't want to waste any time on an intro. Let's dive in. You can establish a legacy contact from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, but personally, I think it's easiest to do this on your iPhone. By the way, this is the perfect thing to do with your family while you're gathered this holiday season. For starters, I want you to go into settings and then tap on your name at the top. If you're on iOS 16, you're gonna tap on privacy and security. If you're on iOS 17, it's technically sign in and security. Now tap on legacy contact here at the bottom and then navigate to the contact that you would like to designate as your legacy contact. If you're in a family plan with this other person, it'll probably suggest them, but otherwise you can just navigate to their contact card and then tap on their phone number. At this point, you'll need to tap on continue. And if the person that you are designating as your legacy contact is an iPhone user, you'll be able to send authorization through a text message or you can print out a code. If the person that you're designating is an Android user, the only option that you'll have is to print out a code, which by the way, you could just as easily attach as a PDF and send them in an email. You don't have to actually give it to them in person. If the person that you're designating as a legacy contact is an iPhone owner, I would like to make a recommendation that you ultimately send them access through both text message and the printout option. Start by sending authorization through a text, but when it's done, come back to this part of your iPhone and then also go to the option to print out a code. All right, at this point, let me answer the most common questions people tend to have about legacy contacts. Question number one, can my legacy contact get access to my files before I die. I feel like this is kind of an obvious one, but no, they can't. Question number two, how does your loved one actually gain access once the time comes? They will first need to go to digital-legacy.apple.com where they will need to upload the death certificate and also prove that they own the Apple ID that is listed as the legacy contact. Question number three, what if your loved one passes away and did not mark you as a legacy contact? Technically, it is possible to gain access, but it does require a court order. Hence the importance to do this now. Question number four, what is the maximum number of legacy contacts that one person can have? The answer is five. And finally, question number five, what data is included and what data is excluded from legacy contacts? What is included is everything that lives inside of iCloud Drive, including messages, documents, photos, contacts, calendars. What is not included is password data stored inside of Keychain, digital purchases like music, movies, and apps, and also any payment methods that were tied to that account. Now, I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but I have to say this is one area where I have to say I disagree with how Apple handles this. As someone who does a lot of tech support for the public, I realize there is a legitimate need to having access to a loved one's keychain data. And without that information, the loved one has to manually reset every single password to every single account. There is a way to get around this, but I save that information for my paying clients. If you would like to book a session with me, you can do so on my website at techtalkamerica.com. If this video helped you, please take a quick moment and click the like button. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.